Hey guys, I finally got the tide high in the morning here in Mangawai and it just sailed off from the anchor over there. It was a little bit frightening coming between those boats because the wind's very, very light and I didn't feel like I had control. The eight horse Yamaha I bought ended up being a piece of crap. I took it into the marine shop and it was going to be $1,200 to fix. So um, I just borrowed a mate's little uh, Evan Root 3.3, which I actually used to own at some point and sold to him or, um, or whatever it was. I think I might have swapped it for something. But anyway, um, it was very cold coming this morning. I rode from there right down there against the tide on my little trusty dinghy. And um, my at first my hands were so cold on the... Um, aluminium poles god it was cold but here i am i'm doing it and this is the first sail on the coronet and for my first sail i've got it set up really badly because i was in a bit of a rush but i'm here doing it like i need to modify a few things tighten up that boom bang there's some um there's some um um what do you call it the, th the things for the sail, battens for the sail. It's warm me up a lot now. Because the sun's out, which thank God, because it was cold, man. But I'm doing it, I'm sailing. And um, this is really just a bit of a... I just wanted to get out and make sure everything was working. It doesn't matter that it's a light breeze. I just want to make sure everything's working. I want to have a couple of sails like this in the harbour. I'm sticking to my plan this time. I'm going to have a couple of sails like this in the harbour. Maybe this and then a bit more wind, hopefully. And uh, just make sure everything's sweet. And then I'm planning to take it up to the Bay Islands for three or four days in September. Hey, a couple of things I really like about the coronet so far. Obviously, I really like the cabin layout. But one thing, the last boat I had had a dagger rudder. And this has got one of the swing ones. And I haven't even got it down yet. But one thing I really am impressed with even though I haven't got it down, it's still got steering. I'm not going to put it down just quite yet into a bit deeper water. And um, the centreboard went down, um, okay, which, you know, you're always a bit nervous about that because sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. I've actually got the tide with me, so I'm clipping along. And if I didn't have the tide with me, I wouldn't be going quite so fast But because um, there's really not much wind. But you can just feel it. The mainsail looked all right. I had the um, carbon fibre, whatever they're called, front sail. I wasn't even sure that it was absolutely for this boat, but it ended up being... I put it up and I've got two or three other sails. So, all in all, it's good. God, it feels good to be sailing. Even if it's light breath, even if it's light wind, even if it's in the harbour. Who gives a shit? You're doing it, you know? But it just feels good to be doing it. So my plan is, sail with the tide and wind up that way. So the wind must be coming, must be uh, southwest, and um, go up to the end buoy, turn around, come back down, and anchor where I was, and then perhaps tomorrow or the next day I'll sail up to the village and back, and then I'll take it out of the water, and I'm going away for a little bit, so on holiday, down the South Island, so um, I'll put it back on the trailer and take it home, and that way I have no worries about it when I'm away. You just don't want to worry about your boat, and that's one of the great advantages of a trailer sailor. So far, um, I mean, I've sailed these coronets before, so, um, you know, it was never going to blow me away. Um, and, and in five knots of wind or whatever it is, it's really not going to blow me away. But one, a couple of things I'd like to say quickly. Um, God, it was not, it's so nice to come back to a small boat and remember how easy things are. Like putting out the mainsail took like 30 seconds. I mean, there was all the hoo-ha, like figuring out where everything went. And I did that because it's the first time I've, you know, sailed this boat. Um, but once I've done that, you know, pull, 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 and the damn thing's up. And the front sail's the same. You really miss that when you go to bigger boats. Just that simple thing. Really need to get that motor sorted. So I'm not going to spend $1,200 and get that old Yamaha fixed. I mean, that, I spent, spent 600 buying and spent $100 getting it bought up. Then three or $240 or whatever, figuring out that it didn't work. <laughs> so it's a thousand bucks down the drain. I've done that with two or three motors now, and enough's enough. So when I get back from the South Island, I'm actually going to go splash out, I think, and buy a brand new eight, five or eight, maybe six, 
horse. Love your opinion on that. Hey, um, I also love that there's, you know, there's a, I looked yesterday, there's 186 subscribers to my um, boat um, renting. <laughs> well, for what, we might as well call it what it is. And um, I really love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, that's really awesome. I'm happy to um, have that audience and, and to be able to, you know, this is a nutty part of my life. The rest of my life is relatively organised and, um, and, and, and good, and, and this part is um, often chaotic, and I'm happy for it to be so. You know, I've got little kids, and the other parts of my life need to be organised, but this doesn't. This can be as bloody chaotic as it wants, you know, as long as it doesn't trouble me too much. And, um, and I love that, and I love sharing that with people. You know, it's just, it's not serious, I'm not looking to make money, <laughs> but, um, but you know, I'm not looking to change the world, I'm just looking to have some fun on my boat and to share it with you guys, so I'm more than happy, I'm quite happy that people like that, and, and uh, yeah, it's a really cool part to share. Anyway, hope you're having a great day, I'm going to be here to about the tide, because it's only high, you know, this is very tidal, and in an hour and a half, there'll be no water here, or three hours there'll be no water here. But I want to anchor, say, in an hour. So I'm just going to sail there then up. It's a beautiful morning. Good to be alive. One day I'll be dead. Today I'm not. Today I'm here sailing my boat. Fucking A, that's good. Hope you're having a good day, guys. Bye-bye.